Unfortunately, there is a good chance that the Intel Macs that Apple just dropped for support in macOS Tahoe won't even get it at all, not even unsupported with Open Core. Welcome to Jesse's Flying. Apple just revealed the officially supported models of macOS 26 Tahoe. And there are not many Intel Macs left, even though we are all happy that macOS Tahoe just not supported Apple Silicon only. They will do that next year, as they announced at the WWDC. But as we are used to, that the developers of the Open Core Legacy Patcher will bring all these unsupported Macs back to life to the latest macOS that might not happen this time and why I'd like to show you in that video. That is the overview of Apple and you can see the MacBook Air with Apple Silicon obviously 2020 and later, the MacBook Pro with Apple Silicon 2020 and later, the MacBook Pro 16 inch 2019 that is an Intel model, the MacBook Pro 13 inch 2020 with four Thunderbolt ports is also an Intel model. The iMac 2020 and later is also Intel, while the Mac Mini 2020 and later is already Apple Silicon. The Mac Studio 2022, the Mac Studio was always Apple Silicon. There is no Intel model for that. And for a lot of people, they are lucky the Mac Pro 2019 and later is also still an Intel model. But the problem began already last year as Apple dropped the support for the MacBook Air 2018 and 2019. Up until now, the developers of the Open Core Legacy Patcher were not able to bring these two MacBook Airs onto macOS Sequoia. As you can see in the overview of the Open Core Legacy Patcher version Two, that was the version for Sequoia that is only supported up until MacBook Air 7, Decimal 1 and Decimal 2. But the MacBook Air 8, Decimal 1 and 8, Decimal 2 are still not supported and that is until now. So after three quarter of a year, they were not able to bring these MacBook Airs to macOS Sequoia and the reason is the T2 security chip. These two MacBook Airs are the first models that Apple officially dropped the support with a T2 security chip. The T2 chip does not communicate anymore when it's booted through Open Core. And now let's check what models Apple dropped for macOS Tahoe. That is the 2017 iMac Pro, which has a T2 security chip. The 2018 Mac Mini, that also has a T2 security chip. The 2019 iMac, that doesn't have a security chip. That might be the only model that might be quite easy to bring to macOS Tahoe. The 2018 MacBook Pro, and that is the MacBook Pro 15 Decimal 1, Decimal 2 and Decimal 3, that has a T2 security chip. Those three MacBook Pro series also were released in 2019, and that is the 13 and the 15 inch versions, all have the T2 security chip. Then there was a 2019 13 inch two Thunderbolt port MacBook Pro that was the MacBook Pro 15 decimal 4 also not officially supported for macOS Tahoe and has a T2 security chip. And the same hardware was re-released in 2020 as MacBook Pro 16 decimal 3 obviously also with a T2 security chip and is not officially supported for macOS Tahoe. And last but not least, the last MacBook Air with an Intel chip, the 2020 MacBook Air 9.1, also has a T2 security chip. 
And so this doesn't look very promising and we all can only hope that the developers of OpenCore and the OpenCore Legacy Patcher tackle that T2 security chip problems to enable all these unsupported Intel Macs for macOS Tahoe. Other than that, I invite you to join our Discord community, more than 3,700 members already. If you'd like to discuss this topic, if you have some ideas, if you want to support the developers, if you have any problems, any questions, if you'd like to install an unsupported macOS on your old Mac, here is my ultimate tutorial for that. Other than that, have fun here on my channel and don't forget to subscribe my channel, click the bell for notifications so you don't miss any updates and then see you soon. Bye bye.